it's your girl Ashley here and I'm here with just an update video please mind my hair I just put up in a messy bun um my roots are definitely need to be done um they're going to be done in June the end of June I'm getting my hair done um I decided that for the foreseeable future probably for like a, a year um I think I'm gonna be a brunette um not like a plain brunette but maybe like some cool colors I'll show you two pictures and I'm hesitant on which one I want to do I'm not sure which one um either like this color you'll see here or this one I'm not sure which one um but I'm gonna be be a brunette for about a year or so um I just think it'd be something different you know I like to be the redhead it was fun but it kind of was something different um and the red's really hard to maintain especially in the summertime um and it's expensive so I'm hoping with the red, I mean with the brown, well being brunette, um, it'll be easier to maintain because my roots are naturally brown as you can tell. Um, I'm hoping that'll be, diff that'll be, you know, easier to maintain. Um, I am wearing a cute little Animal Crossing shirt, you can't see it, it says, sorry, um, I can't, I have to water my flowers. Um, I want to show you the whole thing, I'll probably post a picture. Again, don't mind, I'm trying to lose weight, so I made it look a little chubby. Um, but, sorry guys, um, but, yeah, I got this off of t-shirt.com, it took like two weeks to come in, um, I don't necessarily know if I would pay for what I paid for this shirt again, it's not the softest material, um, so I don't know if I would pay for it again, um, but it is what it is. Um, I did finish another book, I finished this book last night, um, I just got it and I finished it. It's How I Live Now by Meg Rosoff. Um, it was okay. It was about a post-apocalyptic world. Bomb goes off. It was pretty good. I might do a review on it. Um, I gave it three stars. It was okay. Um, but yeah, if you see me pausing, it's because I'm having issues again with my throat. That's why I'm here to talk to you guys. Um, and if my neck... I swear, I feel like my neck looks so swollen. Like, on this side. Does it look swollen to you guys? I swear it does. Like, this side's fine. But this side looks so swollen. I even told that to my friends. And they're like, yeah, that's a close swollen. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, basically, um, I'm here to talk to you guys because I, please pray, it's like pray for me because I'm really, I'm really nervous. Um, I've been having issues and you guys know this um, with my throat and stuff. It's been going on for now a month now. Um, basically, not before the coronavirus, like after the coronavirus had happened. Now, I haven't gone out since March 6th, um, and I had gotten, like, a cold. I was fine. Then, come, uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly when, um, I started getting these, like, I could smell smoke. And I thought something was burning in my house. I'm like, why do I smell smoke? Why do I smell smoke? I thought something was burning. Nothing was burning. Um... And then it went from like smelling smoke to actually smelling like something was burnt. Um, and it was so bad where it was like really bothering me. I, I had to go to sleep because it was like, it was so, it was like really bothering me, right? So then I ended up having to just deal with it. Um, and then it finally went away. And it's only one like nostril, it's on this one. So finally went away. Then after that came my throat issue, which every time I swallow, I feel like there's something caught in my throat. Because like there's a lump, it's not a lump, but it feels, it feels like there's something caught physically in my throat. I know there's nothing there. I've looked, I have my fiance look, there's nothing there stuck. But it feels like something is, like, it's, if you swallow a pill and a pill gets stuck, and you have that like, ugh, I can't swallow anything, that's what it feels like. Um... So I'm thinking maybe something swollen there. I don't know. So I looked it up. I still don't know what it is. Um, I looked into a couple of things of what it could be. I'm mostly saying anxiety, stress. Um, a couple of things said tonsillitis. I don't have tonsils. Um, a couple of things were that they said. So I finally took contact with my my doctor. She said strep throat. Took medicine. Took antibiotics for like seven days. Finally took the antibiotics. Well, not finally, but, but took, took the antibiotics, it went away. Well, not really, but that really went, went away. Took, took the antibiotics, and the box didn't do anything. Um, it just finally went away on its own, and I was like, oh, thank goodness. 
I'm done. I'm finally good. I'm back to being normal. It's awesome. And then like two weeks ago, I started to smell smoke again. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what is going on? I smell smoke again. And I'm like, please tell me it's not going to happen with my throat again, please. So it's like this cycle. I smell smoke and then my throat. So I started smelling smoke again. We, a week after that, my throat issue happened again. And then that's where I'm at now, my throat. And it's getting to the point where it's very difficult to swallow, very hard to swallow. Um, and trying to go to sleep, it feels like I'm drowning because it's so hard to swallow. So I finally contacted my doctor because I, my friends and family were like, you need to contact your doctor to find out what's going on. Because I thought maybe it would just go away on its own, but it didn't. So I contacted my doctor. She did a televisit because she's almost due for her baby. I think she's due a couple weeks or whatever. So did a televisit. She thinks it's allergies. So she gave me, um, I forget the spray, but she gave me uh, um, Flonase. You gave me Flonase to, to try and then gave me, uh, I forget the, the pill, but it's one of the like uh, really popular allergy pills. So she gave me that. Is it Zyrtec, I think? I think it's Zyrtec. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Gave me one of those pills to try. So I take them in the morning. I take the spray in the morning, the Zyrtec, I think, whatever one it's called, in the morning, uh, in the night. So it's my second day on it, because my first day was yesterday, my second day on it. I woke up, I thought, feeling better, but I'm still the same today. So I'm hoping it will get better. She said, if not, then I have to schedule an appointment with an, an ENT, which is an ear, nose, an ear, ear, nose, throat doctor. Um, and they'll have to put a camera through my nose, which I'm not looking forward to that, down into my throat, and to make sure there's nothing blocked or anything. Um, so that actually the appointment I'm, is I'm scheduled to see them. Um the 4th of June so kind of nervous because I haven't gone out of the house but like I said we're going to a doctor's office or anything um and my mom actually went to see the same doctor I'm seeing and she actually found out that she had polyps on her throat and had to get surgery so I'm hoping that it's allergies I'm hoping that like maybe after a day or two or three it will clear up um I got up this morning and I told uh Vanessa and Andrea that I felt better and I did feel better, but as the day got, got, went on and on, I, it got a little worse. And I was telling my fiance yesterday, I was, or I think it was last night, I was like, I think I might be allergic to something in the house. Maybe that's what's causing it. Because I noticed when I was outside, I don't smell the burnt smoke at all. But when I'm in the house, I smell it. And I'm like, what? I'm like... I'm thinking to myself, what if I'm allergic to something in the house that's making me have my throat swell up and smelling, smelling the burnt smoke? I'm like, what if it's something I'm allergic to in the house? But I don't exactly know what it is. It smells like, now that I'm thinking about it, it smells like one of the like wax melty candles that I burnt, that I burn when I'm in here. So I'm thinking it might be one of those, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but... I'm gonna do the allergy route, see if that happen, if that helps. If not, then I'll be doing an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and just talking to you right now, it hurts. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that, and then I have to put a tube down my nose, which I'm not looking forward to, and I can't have my fiance there because of the stupid coronavirus, so I have to go by myself, and I'm really scared because I don't like doctors. I'm scared. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update because I didn't want to go like so long without doing doing another video. Um, I'm going to do my wrap up soon. Um, my my wrap up in my haul, yeah, my wrap up in my Maybook call because I was waiting for owl. Will you stop? I was waiting for owl crates uh book haul, owl crates book to come in, but owl crate is super late on shipping. Um, they said they would ship between May 30th, first and second and third of June. So I'm not going to wait that long for you guys just to see an owl crate book. So I'm just going to film my Mabel call and just say, hey, this is going to be the owl crate book. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to film my wrap up and my haul, my, my Mabel call. Um, and then I will see you guys back for my last, not my last Weight Watcher, but my last virtual because my person is leaving. Well, not, not, not leaving, but the group is shutting down. Um, and my thoughts on that. Um, on Friday, like I always say, make love and hug and we speak kind to each other. And please pray for me, guys. Please pray that it's just allergies. All right, bye, guys.